Welcome to my full review of Touring, the remote job platform for software developers. If you've been looking for a way to land remote tech jobs with international companies, chances are you've come across Touring. In this video, I'll take you through my personal journey using the platform, from signing up and taking tests to the application process and actual job matches. Touring brands itself as a gateway for top-tier developers to connect with companies across the globe. It promises long-term, full-time remote opportunities with U.S.-based startups and enterprises. On paper, it sounds like a dream come true, especially if you're a developer outside of the United States seeking global exposure. However, the experience is not as straightforward as it seems. The first step is creating a profile. Touring places a heavy emphasis on testing, and before you're even considered for jobs, you must pass a series of technical tests. These range from basic algorithm challenges to in-depth system design interviews. The bar is high, and the process can take several days to complete. This initial filtering feels closer to applying for a full-time role at a major tech firm than joining a typical job board. Once you pass these tests, you unlock access to job listings. However, even after being approved, I noticed that job matching was slow. Weeks would go by with few or no new leads, and communication from the platform was inconsistent. There's also limited visibility into who is reviewing your profile or how decisions are being made behind the scenes. Many useful links you can find in the description. One of the strongest aspects of Touring is that the platform handles all the client relations, contracts, and even payments. If you do land a job, everything is streamlined. The pay is typically competitive, and for developers in regions with fewer remote opportunities, the compensation can be a game changer. However, the catch is that getting to that point requires patience. Touring's client base appears selective, and while the company claims to have thousands of clients, the volume of matches does not reflect that. Also worth noting is that the platform is less accommodating for developers who are not full-time available. If you're freelancing or juggling other gigs, Touring may not be the right fit. Another downside is the lack of transparency. The job descriptions are sometimes vague, and it's not always clear what company you're applying to until much later in the process. For a developer who values knowing the product or team culture before committing, this can be a drawback. That said, if you're a mid to senior level developer with strong English skills, a solid portfolio, and the patience to go through a long evaluation process, touring might work out in your favor. Just manage your expectations and understand that approval doesn't guarantee instant job placement. Thanks for watching. If this review helped you get a clearer picture of what touring is really like, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more honest reviews like this one.